if your vagus nerve is not functioning at its optimal, meaning less vagus nerve outflow to stimulate the gut, your ileocecal valve may be not functioning. But the way it will work is that it will most likely cause an open valve rather than a closed valve. So this then comes down to a lot of doctors and even chiropractors. They just don't understand neurology or understand how this really works. And furthermore, when they the chiropractor tells you that your ileocecal valve is closed, that's an assumption because he doesn't know if it's closed. He's assuming it's closed. He may be doing some muscle tests and say, oh, it's closed. But visually, you cannot see that by doing a muscle test or just by feeling your gut. So it's an assumption based on what you're telling him, your symptom. It might be closed, it may be not. But what I'm saying is, you know, when he says it's closed, he's making a clinical judgment call. And what I'm saying is it could be closed. It could be not closed. What if it's stuck open? Being stuck open is actually more common than being stuck closed, the ileocecal valve.